Those are my buddy. The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. so nice to see you guys again second time today for anybody who missed it we were just live a couple hours ago you should have fomo it was a really good stream you're missing out on good content anyway i don't want to tell you what to like but hello everybody for the second or maybe first time today nice to see you i hope you're all having a fantastic monday you peasants who have been at work all day suckers well i'm here on vacation living my best life chilling Oh, best life. Best life you can in the snow, I suppose. I'm just so happy to not be at work. Oh, what a great day it was. Oh, I'm so happy to be here with you all. Guys, we have a lot to get to today. There's been there's been a flurry of activity with this woman suddenly for no reason at all. Okay. We have a live stream to watch. Two Wikipedia style um, information videos about Kuwait, apparently, and a video of Chantal's first time in a mosque to watch together. So that's the plan for today. It's a lot of stuff. Most of it is short, though, which is good. Here's the plan. We'll do the videos all first because they're like the really short things. Let's just bang that shit out. We'll knock those ones out and then we'll get into her live stream. So then you know how we do when we can dip when it gets boring. All right. Are all women topless in Canada? Elizabeth, my God, you're obsessed, girl. No, not always, not all the time, but we can choose to be if we want to be. Hmm? Julie, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. I'm so jelly. I got four days more, but enjoy for more. I definitely will. Mm -hmm. And girl, it's it's only four days. Lash pas. You got this, bitch. You got it. Ah. Ah. Any info on Salad's friend? Listen, there's a big mystery going on in girl world, and it has to do with this Murad guy. Okay? I was purposely mispronouncing his name, ironically, last time, because that's my ex's name. And it, fuck it, it just fucks my head up now that there's a, there's a Murad in the story. Anyway... That's neither here nor there. The point is, we got no real info about this Murad guy. What's being said is that it's a friend of Salad, a long time, very close friend of Salad's. I'm not even going there. I'm not even touching that. But make with that what you will. A lot of people, okay, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. A lot of people have wondered, what is this, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it, I'm not touching it, what could the relation between these guys be? Are they friends? Are they more? Is it family? Who the fuck knows? For now, we don't know. I see a lot of y'all, listen, what you're saying in the chat is exactly what's in my head, just understand, I'm not going there, okay? It could be a bunch of different things, but it certainly gave a bunch of people, eh, uh, Oh, like I went like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. FFG, but why using the same footage? I mean, I have a theory. I have a theory that it's, it's just, it's sort of the equivalent of like a reaction channel without the reactions. It's just someone else taking her content, let's say, and profiting off it a little bit. Maybe they're trying to also have a channel. Who the fuck knows? There's still so many questions. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to like rely so heavily on Kiwi Farms. It's just like, I, I, I'm no NASA. <laughs> I'm waiting sort of for Kiwi Farms to crack this one. I expect it's sort of their, their line of expertise. I don't freaking know. Yeah, the exact same footage as Foodie Beauty. I don't get it. Well, like if they're all in cahoots, it's not like Chantal is going to strike them. You know what I mean? So I guess they could. Anyway, there's so many questions. And the more you try and figure out an answer, the more questions you have. So far, I got nothing. I got nothing more than what they tell us, which is it's a long time, very close friend of salad. Okay. 
Ooh. Cosmic Flora, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, no, it got you. Damn it. Girl, chicken soup, all the sleep, and lots of drinks. I hope you're doing all right. That really fucking sucks. Um, it's their own footage, not Chantal's. Yes, yes, that's interesting. It's it's like somebody just tagging along. Listen, I'm not even going there. Okay, I don't I don't want to be the one. I'm not fucking doing this. But it seems like a very close friend to me. Okay, can I just say that and fucking move it along? I don't know what the deal is. His lover, his bestie, his cousin, who knows? But it's almost like wherever they go, this person is there too. And it's almost like maybe they're doing some of the filming also. And just piggybacking off of Chantal's content. I don't know. Maybe it's part of the deal. Maybe the deal was, yes, we'll film together, but I'm going to get the footage too. And I'm going to reap some of the benefits, you know? Just saying, who knows if I find out anything, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to find out anything. I, I don't fucking know. But if I hear anything or see anything, y'all, I will bring it to sweet. I will bring it to the channel right away. You understand? Yeah. All three. One plus one plus one makes three. And we can all tell by the body language there between salad and Chantal who the odd man out might be, you know? But who knows about that? Uh, Lisa, hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. The best thing ever is when you do Alicia's accent. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it, girl. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm having so much fun doing Doherty Does and stuff. She infuriates me. She gets me in my angry place. And I like getting there with other things besides Chantal, you know? Ugh. Hey, Sophia the Scorpio. Katie, thank you for the super chat. Girl, <laughs> never. <laughs> I would never. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Not my thing. Mandy, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here, girl. Yeah, she's fucking nuts. See y'all? You should have the FOMO. We had a damn good time on the Alicia stream before. Oh, all right. <clears throat> before we get into all of the reactions, because we got a, a lot of stuff to cover today, let's start by taking a look at Chantal's, just her page, okay? There's been big changes today, again, in Chantopolis. Uh, I have so many tabs open. You're going to have to bear with me today. Well, well, well. Look who's back. Look who's back. Foodie beauty. FOMO is fear of missing out. Mm. Foodie beauty is back. That Chantal Al Rafay didn't work. You know why it didn't work? When you searched for foodie beauty, Nothing came up except for reaction channels. <laughs> it became like impossible to find her channel. So in my opinion, that's why she went right back to Foodie Beauty. And interestingly enough, look at her, 94,100 subs today. She passed 94. Interesting. She can't commit to anything, which is a major reason why I'm still surprised that the, the hijab is still on her head, honestly. Now look what her banner says. I don't know what my channel is about, but welcome. She's been at this for like seven years. Shouldn't, like after seven years, shouldn't you kind of maybe know what your channel is about? I'm just saying, no judgment. I'm just, it seems fucking weird to me. In the first year, two years, I don't know. Yeah, you don't know what your channel's about until you find a, a lane. Her lane is stuffing her face and raging. That could just be her her banner. Like be honest about it. I'm honest in mine. I think mine says like side pony and loud mouth or something. I made it so long ago. Just be honest. Yeah, that's what you're going to get. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Magical cannabis. Thank you for the super chat. They're having Kuwait threesome fupa beezing. See, I don't even think so. If she was getting it, we'd be able to tell and she would be nowhere near as miserable as she's been. I think she's the one not getting it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Chantadler El Rafay, fix your hijab. Thank you for the super chat, girl. All the love to you and yours, FFG. Chantal's biggest pimp. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I, I don't know how to feel about that, but thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Question mark, you know. Oh, no, Elizabeth. Thank you for the super chat. 
I'm not reading that, but that is fucking hilarious. <laughs> My God, y'all are sick and I like it. Jess, thank you for the super chat. Maybe in the culture, it may be a chaperone that has to follow around for a while. I don't know. See, that's the whole thing. This is where their story is starting to crumble apart. A chaperone would be needed if the couple wasn't married. Bloop. She's sticking to the story that they're married. There's no need to have a chaperone, which makes the entire thing sus. And when there's a picture, there's an old picture. It's a two-year-old picture of Salad and the Murad guy and another guy. And they look like, I don't want to say like each other, like a couple. I just mean... You can tell they get along. They're, they look happier in that picture than Salad has ever looked next to Chantal. So, I don't know. This might genuinely be a very close friend. Is he in on the hustle? Who the fuck knows? Uh, what can I say about that? Okay. You remember I told you the story how I was offered to do this like years and years and years ago for money. Okay. The person, it's like, the person who was doing it, they know other people who are doing this. What, what if the other guy is also trying to, you know, snag himself a desperado Canadian and get his papers too? I don't know. This is all just hypothetical, but it could be anything, you know? So I'm going to try not to speculate until we find out more. Do I have my own theories? Absolutely. But I don't fucking know. Phoenix Flying, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, FFG, for making Monday less Monday-ish. Well, thanks for saying that. And thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Anything to make Monday less Monday-ish. Is Murad Arab Didi? <gasps> Could be. Maybe Murad likes it the most. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who knows? I'm an olive too. Thank you for the super chat. You know how Seinfeld is a show about nothing? Chantal's channel is about nothing. BPD channel, different name depending on the direction of the wind. Okay, fair. I'm glad you elaborated because I was like, how dare you even put Chantal and Seinfeld that close together in a comment? You know, no. But yes, it's a show about nothing, but hers isn't entertaining. You know what I mean? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Jamie, like, agreed. Do you think he wants to be alone with her? Absolutely not. You can see it uh, written on the lack of chemistry and just misery all over their his face huh but it's still it's weird it's weird it's weird it's weird this story is so fucking weird there's more questions than there are answers which is so backwards for chantal we normally have way more answers than we ever wanted or needed or you know what i mean uh i don't know it just lets people speculate no i love to speculate i love a story me these are our stories this is like our soaps right so who doesn't love to like make a story in your story? This is a fantasy bullshit world for us. It's fun. It's winter here. I, this is how I'm getting through the winter. What the fuck? Nikki Finn, thank you for the super chat. Are same-sex relationships allowed in Kuwait? No. I could see her outing him in the future if he ever pisses her off. Bloop. Ooh. He better hope he's long gone from Kuwait. If that's true and if that were to ever happen. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh man. I'm behind on the chat. Forgive me. Oh my God. And I'm now cut up in the chat. Mm. Soaps have better writing. Fair. Liz, that is fair. That is fair. This is like a low budget shitty soap. This is the passions. I think I've said it before. This is the passions of like the afternoon soaps. You know what I mean? Hmm. <laughs> um. He does look and act very metrosexual, whatever, Gucci gang gamer girl. However, to be fair, he's young, he's vain, and I mean, that doesn't necessarily make anything more than just young and vain. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's hard to read him, but if you're in a country where that kind of thing is so very punishable, you would be hard to read because you would be hiding it with everything you got. You know what I mean? I don't know. And this is all speculation. Anyway, let's pivot because I'm getting uncomfortable with all this speculating. Whatever it is, bees and let bees. Listen, I don't have a problem with any of it. I just want the story. I want the story. But if that's the story, he can't tell us. We'll never find that out while he's in Kuwait. Yeah. But she'll spill. She'll s oof. Oof. This is a long game. We're on a fucking long game with this one. But we'll find out everything eventually. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. After watching her Cuba rage, do you think she would 
Doc's salad when things go bad? Absolutely. Chantal Docs literally everything and anything that exists on this planet. She's going to be fucked up when he leaves her. When Like this one, when she realizes what this one is or whatever, or just the fact that even if this is an arrangement between them, she thinks he'll fall in love with her and won't leave her and stuff. She's going to be a fucking wreck when he does. And we're going to find out everything and he'll be doxxed and we'll know every dirty secret and how they met and every step of this. I'm here for that. I, I want the tea. I always like the tea. But it's a long game. Hmm? Cecily Wolfcat, thank you for the super chat. This is how we're getting through the winter. Absolutely. fucking lutely That's why Crackhead Olympics was so important to us last year in, you know, snow country. There's fuck all to do. I don't like the snow. I don't like the cold. I need Crackhead Olympics again, so... She better yell and make something happen out of this winter. I don't know. Ugh. She'll be processing for the next 50 years. You are absolutely right, Wiccan mom. Oh, Wiccan drinking the Kool-Aid mom now. Mm, she definitely will be. Can you imagine? A one-year chase around of a crackhead who never wanted her, never claimed her, and they were only in a relationship for a week. And she's been processing that shit ever since, right? This, this will be... I'm still processing will be written on her tombstone for fuck's sake about salad. Ugh, we will never hear the end of it. And the story will change. Now it's all fantastic. And now she's choosing for herself. And this is what she wanted. And she's so madly in love. As soon as this shit goes sour, we all know what's coming. And he forced me to wear a hijab. And he forced me to go to a mosque. And I had to eat the food and go for walks. And he treated me badly. And he told me to cover my face. Mark my words. <laughs> It's a matter of time. All right, let's fucking get into one of these. We got a lot to cover tonight, y'all. We are, like I said, we're going to start with the, all, the vi all the videos, the three videos. So we'll just bang those out and then move on to the live stream. So for our first video in Masterpiece Theater, al Karain Martyr Museum Part 1, Kuwaiti Gulf War Resistance. Ironic. <laughs> ironic that salad would be taking his new bride and us along for the ride to a place talking about the Kuwaiti resistance during the Gulf war for anybody who doesn't know. I mean, I don't know too much, but here's what I can tell you about the Gulf war. And it's fucking ironic. Uh, Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. It's what like started the Gulf war. Déclenché the Gulf war, right? Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait. Now, uh, Salad apparently grew up in Kuwait, so he wouldn't have been alive. He's too young for that shit, but he would have heard the stories about the Gulf War and the invasion of Kuwait by Saddam Hussein. You would think he would hold a grudge. Anyway, there's old <clears throat> messages floating around on Twitter from a Facebook account of Salad's where he's like giving props to Saddam Hussein. And, and Chantal, who's also there filming this video and has the nerve to put this up on the internet about the Gulf um, resistance, right? Again, to the invasion by Saddam Hussein. Do you remember when Koki was in her ear in this past year and she came out uneducated and just ignorant as she is and came out and told us all during a live stream how Saddam Hussein was not such a bad guy and very misunderstood. And now these two dumb fucks are taking us to the Gulf War Resistance Museum. You couldn't write this shit this funny if you tried. Let me get the tab. Hi there, welcome. If you were watching our video, we thank you for being here. We are very excited to bring this piece of Kuwaiti history to you. We were very excited to film this. It's going to be in two parts because it is a very lengthy video. There was a lot to cover. So let's dive in. The year 1990 saw the beginning of the Persian Gulf War after President Saddam Hussein of Iraq ordered the invasion and occupation of neighboring Kuwait. In early another thing 
the irony of the timing of putting this up. She starts her video by saying that Saddam Hussein invaded Kuwait, okay? You put this video out on the day that that fucking um, Facebook post by Salad is circulating all over the internet. People send her everything. You can't tell me or convince me that she didn't find out that everyone's finding this uh, message today. She knows damn right. And of all the days... When your idiot non-husband in a message was given props to Saddam Hussein, you're going to come out here and talk about the fucking resistance and start your video about when Saddam Hussein voted away. You are such a moron, Chantal. The August of that year, countries such as those that were part of the Gulf Cooperation Council, as well as the United States, were called upon to aid in the liberation of Kuwait. Hussein defied United Nations Security Council demands, however, to withdraw from Kuwait. Iraqi troops invaded Kuwait, and as a result, the al Masila group was formed. Allah said in his glorious Quran, think not of those who... What the fuck is this? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Allah said in his glorious Quran... I already hate it. <laughs> I want to dip. I see you guys dipping. The what the fuck? Oh, no. No. Rumgate Pondu, thank you for the super chat. No. Of course they're feeding her lines. But really, who's feeding her the script is like Wikipedia or some shit. She, she, she accused me of that the other day. Listen, listen to her reading off of like a script. It's so ridiculous. Oh my God. Maybe there was some like uh, stuff for tourists at the museum. She grabs one on the way out and she just fucking reads it to the camera. Who are slain in God's way is dead. Nay, they live, finding their sustenance in the presence of their God. Patriotism was manifested by the will of people who accepted the challenge and resisted the injustice and tyranny in order to liberate their country. The outcome was a trail of martyrs. So again, they resisted the tyranny <clears throat> of Saddam Hussein, the same person that you both have given props to. Why are you even making this fucking video? Who have recorded heroic and eternal epics with their blood for sustaining their country. al Karain is an epic created by young Kuwaiti men who believe strongly in Allah and in their just cause. They took an oath among themselves that they would sacrifice every precious thing to keep their country high and proud. al Karain epic took place on the 24th of February, 1991, two days before the dawn of liberation. 19 young Kuwaiti men out of 31 members of al Masila group, the Kuwait force, participated in the al Karain encounter. The rest of the group members couldn't participate for reasons beyond their will. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Shufi, I'm not trying to be insensitive or some shit. I love history. I'm not here for any of this shit. When I want history, I go looking for history. When I come for Chantal shits and gigs, I'm not here for some fucking biased, one-sided history uh, of Kuwait. Sorry, not sorry, not my jam. Julie, thank you for the super chat, girl. I was born in the tall end of the war. My parents lived through this shit. I grew up in the aftermath of it. Anyone born in Kuwait at that time, let's say, we'll have anger. They, everyone should. I mean, this makes no sense at all. At all. I'm just going to skip ahead a little. Like, is the whole thing just... Oh, okay. Is this a picture? I can't even tell what we're looking at. We're driving in the car. We'll just skip ahead past the propaganda and get to the driving, okay? Every valuable thing inside the houses and left behind nothing but total destruction. I, don't, I never understand when she drives around. I bitch about it every single time. What are we looking at? Fuck all. This video is god awful. 
We got preached at by a fucking moron who doesn't even know the history of her own province, her own country. I would love to ask Chantal questions about just Canada, just general. Hmm? I still say I would be surprised if she knew all the capitals of the provinces here. She would blow my mind. Hmm? But Chantal is now preaching about Gulf War to the people and driving around with that god awful music with her fake ass fucking husband filming nothing. Yeah, a truck. We saw some buildings that nobody understands what the fuck they even were. Like, again, no people as always. What is the point of this? <laughs> Just to have something, something to put out, I guess. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Totally agreed. Disrespectful, ignorant as all hell, and so stupid that she doesn't even know how disrespectful she is. You know what I mean? السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مرحبا بكم أصدقائي في فيديو جديد معنا اليوم في متحف الجرين ويعتبر رمز صمود كويتي تاريخي ضد الاحتلال العراق الغاشم وإن شاء الله تستفيدوا وتستمتعوا معنا oh, this guy again oh, I hate him so much I can't stand this guy's face voice fucking I fucking himself I can feel him I fucking himself through the sunglasses God damn it and look at her stupid pose Look at her. Oh, she's standing there like, yeah, that's my man. You're all jelly. Rocking back and forth like a, a fucking embarrassment of a Teletubby for fuck's sake. Ah. Oh. Hi, guys. We are here at the Al Karain Martyr Museum. This building serves as a memorial for the Al Masila Kuwaiti resistance group who fought against the Iraqi invasion in 1991. So we're going to explore inside and tell you more about it. So let's go. Let's go. Yalla. وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتًا بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ صدق الله العظيم. I swear to God, does anyone else feel like they're in a fucking fever dream right now? Is it just me? Oh my God. Ugh. On October 31st, we were still like a hostage in a bedroom. It is December 19th. We're watching a propaganda video. How the fuck did this happen? <laughs> oh my God. When is her return flight? Does anyone know? Listen up, trolls. <laughs> Somebody get us the info we all need, yalla. Okay, guys, let's take a tour around the museum. She always looks so stupid when he's filming. Exactly the scenario is in every video they put out together. They're walking together, he's filming, and she just like stares at the camera all creepy and waves. They're mortifying. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know who I'm more embarrassed for. I... Oh my God. Oh. For real guys, how did we get here so fast? This is this is like six weeks ago. Talk about fucking blinking, you missed it, eh? Jesus. Booty thing, thank you for the super chat. Chantal's documentary, be low be on my voice, makes me nauseous. She was really putting it on in that fucking narration, wasn't she? Oh, uh, so vom. I could, ugh. Listen, I don't like it. As Salad Eye fucks himself. Exactly, Tater Tot, right? Mm -mm. Mm. Elizabeth, thank you again for the super chat. Is she selling us propaganda? She's selling us whatever Salad wanted to have us here today. She's just the mouthpiece for another schmuck's opinion. Different, sh like, year, different schmuck. I still don't want their fucking opinions, to be honest. Yes, have some. Thank you for the super chat. 
This is so offensive because she's incapable of understanding the gravity of what she's talking about. She's done no research and it's a slap in the face to anyone who was affected by this. Well said. Why did you leave all this footage? This is a fucking edit. Edit him. I fucking himself out. If he wants to keep that for his own little personal archive, that's his business. We don't need to watch him. I fuck himself for five minutes. Yes, Lisa. Thank you for the super chat. The problem is she's exploiting terrible events when we all know she doesn't care. It's false. Not only does she not care, she knows nothing about it. Nothing, just nothing about anything at all. Anything at all in the whole world. Whatever loser is next to her, she'll just repeat their opinion. That's what a sponge does. She knows nothing of her own. When it was Koki, we heard Koki's opinion. Now we're hearing salads fucking slanted view on the the gulf you know fuck off all right guys so this is a water transition tank used to transfer a group of resistance members so this vehicle is actually you know what, Salad? If Salad wants to give us an opinion, I would. Mu I have a better question for Salad, and mm, the line of line of questioning sounds psychotic. But I don't really want to hear you talking about the Gulf War. Hmm? I have questions about, let's say, what's going on in Syria. You call yourself Syrian. Your people come from Syria. Why don't you give us a little opinion on what's going on over there? Hmm? Why don't you tell us how you feel as a Syrian male who's supposed to be there, as they all say, protecting their country and fighting for their country. You're in another country buying a citizenship. I I don't know. These would be more the questions I would have for Salad, the things I'd be interesting to are interested to hear from Salad. Not this fluff and bullshit. Used to transport the Almasila. Uh, resistance members. Pretty cool part of history. I'm assuming they hid inside of this. Imagine how hot and claustrophobic it would be and probably very afraid. He literally, okay, he finally turned away. I was going to say he had not stopped eye fucking himself the entire time she was speaking. نموذج تنكر ماء كان ينقل في افراد المقاومه الكويتيه اثناء العدوان العراقي. Finny, thank you for the super chat. Totally agree. Tank is actually a Russian tank, and it was actually used by Iraqis in the bombing of the house during the resistance invasion. طبعا هذا دبابة روسية استخدمها العراقيين في قصف منزل الجرين. Yeah, they're too they're too lazy to bother putting subtitles on the video too. If you're going to try and do a bilingual channel, you're going to have to do subtitles in both languages when each other speaks, you know? Um, you're, as of now, not a bilingual channel. This is Chantal, okay? Nobody's watching for salad. Nobody followed this channel for salad. I would expect some English fucking subtitles. <laughs> She really took the time to edit in fucking like bullet firings there. Oh, you took the time for that, but not to bother to do the subtitles. Wow. Wow. I bet he told her to put one, put one gunshot there. <laughs> it sounds like a testosterone thing. You know what I mean? Oh my God. You remember all those fucking like G unit songs when we were young and it was all like shooting and it was, oh my God, the testosterone. I hate it. Get away from me. Shut up. The invading Iraqi troops were armed to the teeth with heavy armor and tanks. On the other hand, the martyrs were merely armed with machine guns and their faith in Allah, of course. I'm sure war is not fun for either side. I'm sure everyone was 
fearful, but also proud of their countries and their culture and nationality and proud to defend it. That what? What? <laughs> Oh my God, that is giving very much Trump. Like there were bad guys on both sides or good sides on both. Listen, whatever. Are you picking a side or are you not picking a side there, Chantal? Because you just went all the way in for quit. But you have in the past said that Saddam Hussein wasn't such a bad guy. Are you flip-flopping? Are you literally flip-flopping seven minutes and 30 seconds into this video? Ugh. As a super opinionated person, there's nothing that gets under my skin more than this. Pick a fucking opinion and just stick to it. What's the matter with you? What is it? War isn't fun for either side, guys, but they're proud of their country on both sides. Guys, like, who are you? What are we doing here? When are you coming back to Canada, more importantly? Mandy, thank you for the super chat. That's the idea of a martyr dying in the line of duty, dying for honor, dying in the name of honor, I should say, dying, protecting your people, fighting for your country. Yeah, that, I mean, those people can be martyrs, but that's not at all what a martyr is. Like, she's not, she's incapable of even explaining something. She hasn't done any research on it whatsoever. These people were very brave. When you're here, the energy is so different. I can imagine the fuselage here of the cannon. And I'm wondering if that's... Wait, what? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm stupid. I may need NASA on this one. The fuselage of the cannon? That doesn't even make sense. It's actually from some of the damage it caused when it fired at the building. So this white Chevrolet belongs to the Iraqi intelligence. This car is 31 years. I'm, I, I'm dumbfounded by what we did. NASA, please never hire her. Oh my God. Serendipitous Sarah, thank you for the super chat girl. It's old. Whoa. So this minibus belongs to Iraqis intelligence used to transfer prisoners from Kuwait to Iraq and attack residences. And I don't know why it really, really gets under my skin the way she says Iraq. To Martyr Badr al Idan, the owner of the home, by the way. The oh. owner of the house called Badr al Idan. Ah. Yes. Didn't know that. Thank you. And how the fuck would you know that? The owner of the house that got shot up was named Batter whatever the fuck, okay? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. As if she's lived in Kuwait for fucking 30 years. I'm like, how could I have missed that tiny little detail? Bitch, you've been there six weeks and you spent five of them at the Burger King. This Chevrolet belongs to the group's leader used in military operation and medical necessities transition. It's surreal to me that these are actual bullets. Oh, that's and then... Ricky's car. Oh my God, Olivia Davis, that, that is Ricky's car. Holy shit. <laughs> Ma'am, you got to learn what a cliffhanger is. This is not a to be continued. This is like should have never been. Not a to be continued. How dare you? Do you not understand where you're supposed to cliffhanger something? You should have like pretended to fall. Oh, and the camera trips and you go to be continued. Then people would be like, oh my God, what happened? Did she fall into that creepy ass building? Did she break her fucking ankle? I got to see number two. Girl, what the fuck is this? Gangster computer God. Thank you for the super chat. What's Salad's opinion on the current series? That's what I'm saying. That's what I would love to know. Watch him fucking squirm. I, I want to hear what he says. Swear to God. Ooh. Okay, breathe. We're going in for part two. <laughs> no, you're right. The house of martyr. But are hidden. Look at the holes in the wall. 
Oh, yeah. Ah, Google says this museum is free. Well, that's fair, because at least in that case, they're getting what they paid for. It looks, yeah, eh, not, not so great. Not so great. I don't know. I happened to have gone to a museum this morning, and it was a good time, but I was looking at art, not like fucking like bullet holes and shit. I, I'm just saying, I, there's only one of those two that I would pay to get into. So isn't that interesting, though? <clears throat> Another free outing. It seems like they really, really love the free outings. Um, I'm going to skip ahead because, like, does anyone care to see, like, a bullet hole riddled? Oh, let's see her standing in this. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, <laughs> that's a look. <laughs> let's see what she's saying in this insane uh, moment. <clears throat> and the rest of the group probably held prisoner that's why they were not here in attendance here is he dictating these lines to her why did she just say that all creepy and like leaning to the side attendance i'm skipping ahead this is the dumbest thing she's ever put on her fucking channel and i'm gonna ridicule this for the rest of her life salad speaking arabic again i swear to god this is the whole video is this Oh my God. Okay, I'm not watching this. <laughs> this is, oh my God, there's guns in the video. No, 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 thank you. That's not my jam. All right, let's skip right to the end where they're going to say bye bye. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you learn a little bit of uh, Kuwaiti history. Yes, it has been surreal and really amazing being here in person to witness some of this history myself. So thanks so much for watching. And I hope you did learn something like Salah said. Bye. Goodbye. Ma salama. Okay, well, the second one was better than the first because we literally only watched like 10 seconds of it. And that's more than I need to see. What in the fuck did we just watch? Um, Why is she making like propaganda style ass videos now? Is he making her do this? I don't know. It was weird. Very, very weird. Um, you're in trauma, Missing Mimic. <laughs> this is one of those cases where I'm going to say, I'm glad we're watching this together because if I had watched that alone, I would think I've lost my shit or I had fallen asleep. Ooh, Chorley Sporkle. Thank you so much for the very nice super chat. And congratulations again. That is mind-blowing mind-blowing mazel tov <laughs> what a perfect timing of the year too Tabarnak, that really worked out ah congrats again holy shit um you're scared <laughs> why is this someone's life desperation y'all desperation never be so desperate that you're willing to travel to the other side of the world to fake a marriage and do propaganda videos from a bullet riddled Squat? I I don't know. That's probably very disrespectful of me to say. I'm sure it, it is. I I I uh strike that squat comment from the record. It's pro it's very historically important to Kuwait City. Fine. Fine. That's not what I'm here for. I, I'm pretty sure that's not what any of us are here for. I never in my life expected to turn on a Chantal video and get a propaganda video. Never. Propaganda about the Gulf War by somebody who stuck up for Saddam Hussein. I have major questions about that. Uh, Charles, you know what to do next time she's live. Okay. <laughs> questions. Questions for him. Questions for her. We've laid out all the good questions here. We just need somebody to, you know, ask them. <laughs> Nikki Finn, thank you for the super chat. Her voiceover is giving Amber Waves narrates the D Dirk Diggler documentary in boogie nights wow that was a sentence and a half eh Whew. it's the creepiest voice she's ever made and something about it being over this video and her talking about martyrdom with that creepy voice it's just extra distasteful i don't know not my jam i am listen this is not what we, at the end of the day you work a hard fucking day or whatever you do all day and you just want to chill did you think you'd be seeing guns Foodie Beauty. 
We see like now she's getting fucking double fisted into her face. We don't see guns and shit. This is nuts. Captain Crunch, thank you for the super chat. Martyr, one who voluntarily suffers death rather than deny their religion by words or deeds. But both countries are Islamic. Why? Uh, what martyrs? Well, like that. Yes. Definition of martyr. Absolutely. But they also say anybody like, for example, when children are injured, mm, fatally in like wars and stuff they they call them martyrs uh anybody who needlessly is injured fatally also martyr you know what i mean uh, i don't want to talk about this on a monday this is very very deep very deep i i i kind of wish we were just at burger king i'm not even gonna lie uh we see guns, not guns, right? Oh, you can tell how Canadian I am also by the, I just saw a picture of one and I, I like screamed like guns. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that's not my jam. No, 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 not at all. And Chantal, fellow Canadian, I'm pretty sure that wasn't hers either. I don't know. It would freak me the fuck out to be in a, in a friggin' bullet riddled ass like place like that shit. Mm -mm. Liz, thank you for the super chat. I had to send this to ask, what is this help? Girl, I wish I knew. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> but they're over, and that's what matters. The most important thing of all is that they're over. Um, the next one is infuriating, and we're going to have to get through this one, too. Chantal's about to go to the mosque for the first time. Or so she says, first time. I realize that this one is, is a bit of a trap, a little bit of bait video. So understand that I will not be going anywhere near as hard as I would like to on all of this because I smell bait and I will not take the bait. So we're now going to watch Chantal go to a mosque. Okay. Rachel, thank you for the super chat girl. <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. It's Hanukkah, y'all. Here we go to the mosque. Okay, we're going to the mosque. But first, of course, her favorite meal. It's like Alicia's is but first coffee. Hers is like, but first, like nervous eating. Here we go. Tonight for dinner, we're having our favorite. You saw the video, well, I think our first video on our couple's channel here, Match Boos. Mm, let's unpack it. Okay, that food looks way better than the last time they got it. Bam, I would fuck up that chicken. Mm, 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 very nice. Too, too many little cups on the side. I don't like all that plastic waste. And what is up with always that weird little bit of greens? Not my thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, there's a Mountain Dew. He's so predictable. Uh, <laughs> what a loser. Hey guys, so I'm here checking out a mosque. I haven't checked one out since I've been in the Middle East, particularly I'm in Kuwait. I haven't checked out a mosque yet. I did learn a lot about mosques today, which is part of the reason I removed the niqab. It's actually not a religious requirement like I thought. It's more of a cultural um, thing. It is part of modest dress. So women who wear it typically do do it for culture and a mixture of religion. So she didn't realize why she was putting it on. It's not part of the religion like I thought. So you're just like doing and thinking about it later. Okay, well, at least that's consistent. Hmm? Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Favorite meal? Those don't look like Nashies. <laughs> it just depends on your interpretation of modest dress as well. But I need to learn more about Islam before I can make these decisions. You guys know I'm impulsive. So I did put a community post explaining that, which is why you see me without in the top today. I do it out of complete respect. And I just want to be fully aware of everything. So typically the mosque is divided into two parts, side for men, side for women. This allows people to pray comfortably without any distractions. It's very important 
as a ritual to cleanse, perform ablution, or voodoo. No, 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 no. This is too, this is too bait. This is too bait. She's talking to us about religious cleansing, and I can't even make the joke about her smelling like bougies and being filthy? Because what, that's going to be bait? Did I really just sort of make the joke without saying it? Yes. <laughs> Blue Hunter, thank you for the super chat. Do the Arabic word is wudu, which is a cleansing and purification before you enter the mosque and perform salah prayer. Women are required to dress modestly, typically to wear a hijab. Men have a dress code as well. They're asked to dress in a clean outfit that is loose fitting, doesn't show the, the form of your body. Same thing with women, which is why I wear the abaya. So let's go and see the mosque. If there are people praying, I will not talk. I will talk low and respectfully when I enter the mosque. There is a very large mosque in Kuwait City that we will explore another time. Here we have a water drinking station, some clean water provided. All right, let's go in. I'm nervous for some reason. Is she there alone? Interesting. Hmm. Now, yeah, okay, okay. There's a different entrance for men and women, but she was outside. I didn't see any salad. Does he just huh, drive her there and be like, hey, I'll be outside when you're done? Weird. She's allowed to film inside. I like that she said not, if there's people inside praying, I won't film. She goes, if there's people inside praying, I won't speak, but I'll just silently film. That is creepy as all hell. Another water station right here for drinking. A washroom. A washing station. You are required to remove your footwear and place it here before entering the main prayer area. My sketchers. Hmm. And she opens the door to the mosque with her left hand. I guess we're not that we haven't leveled up to those kind of like things yet, but salad really should teach you, girl. The carpet is very soft. I'm very warm in here. Not air conditioned. I thought these were prayer rugs at first, but it sounds like it's true. I'm dumb. I should have like explained a little bit. Uh um historically, historically, it's it's like said that you don't do certain things with your left hand and you do certain things with the right hand because you you clean your ass with the left hand. So the left hand is considered not clean. So for example, if um, an Arab meets you and extends their left hand to shake your hand, it's an insult, you know, things like that. So to go to a mosque, which is supposed to be such a like pure and clean place and to open it with the left hand, it's like, She's not even in there yet, and she's already, I mean, that was just so peak, Chantal. Explain that they're actually fragrances and clothing to cover your body. This is the main prayer area. Yeah, you eat yeah. with the right hand, you wipe your poop with the left hand, you know? I have some stands here for the Quran. Those are nice. And you see how important cleanliness is in Islam. Cleanliness is very important here um, in Islam. It's actually made me update my own hygiene routine uh, for the better as well. There's some speakers on the wall. Does anyone believe that shit? I mean, you can believe that shit if you believe, want to believe that shit. I don't believe that shit for the, at all. S.E., thank you for the super chat. <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe he's waiting for her right outside. He's like, I'll tie your shoes for you when you come back, honey. Sweetie, so cute. Loudspeakers where the Imam can be heard reciting prayer during the five different times a day. Five times a day, the Imam will recite prayer. And I'll put the names of them here for you and the different times. So, while I'm here, I'm actually going to perform prayer. I don't really know an Arabic prayer. Wait, what? Uh, okay. While she's there, she's going to pray. So she's already converted. Hmm. 
how would she know how to pray? And there's no one there who's going to be guiding her prayer. Weird. Prayer. I know a little bit, so I will do what I can in my heart and in my head. So let's go perform Bluetooth. We'll return. For example, okay, and this is like, I'm not trying to like, you you religion how you want to relige, but until you would learn, for example, if they really were husband and wife and he's practicing, they would pray together at home and she would learn, you know, she doesn't know. Like, this is so weird. Oh, so fucking weird. Holy crap. I'm so uncomfortable watching this because I feel like I can barely speak. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to playing on a line tonight y'all Marilee, thank you for the super chat she's touring a mosque when it's not time for prayer she's playing tourist in an empty mosque if she was there to pray as a guest or yeah she would be greeted by the women right right anyway there's this is just <sighs> i can't say too much <clears throat> This does feel disrespectful to me. It seems performative to me. If you really, really were learning about this new religion and you're going to perform your first ever uh, prayers at the mosque, wouldn't that be a, like maybe a little sacred moment between you and God? Would you really, really have to be streaming or filming that for your content? And where's your husband? fucking weird all the all is weird to me ain't she sweet thank you for the super chat so we're gonna use one of these washing stations oh god i cannot reveal my skin to you what the hell did that say wait a minute wait a minute I cannot reveal my skin to you, so I cannot show you some of the voodoo steps. Ma'am, we've seen your fupa balls and everything else. What can't you show us? Your fucking hands and your face? Oh, my God. Oh, her feet. Your, your fucking Funko baby feet are in my intro. We've seen it all before. God damn it. You must cover your entire body, except your face and hands. So you must wear socks. And you must cover your up to your wrists. And I have my hijab, which is sufficient. Let's go pray. Touching the phone after you clean yourself erases what you just did. The phone is not clean. You, it, she's now going in as if she didn't even clean herself, by the way. Touches her shoes. So one thing. Are you, wait a minute. No, no, I couldn't have seen that, right? I must have just had a mini stroke. Wait a minute. Did she just blur out her ass? Oh my God, she pixelated her ass. That wasn't a stroke. That really just happened. Oh, we're going to have to see that again. The modest woman. She just, she pixelated her ass. Wait a minute, look at it. We're watching it again. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What is NASA? We need to zoom in. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh my God. I can't believe she did that. That is the dumbest thing. Do you think we can't see it? It's taking up three quarters of the fucking screen right now. Girl, you can see the whole shape of your, what are you doing? Add this to the intro. <laughs> We could add this to the intro. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This, this is maybe the dumbest edit I've ever seen in my life. And I love it. Moxie Media, thank you for the super chat. 
so one thing I have trouble understanding is which direction I'm supposed to pray in. I did send a picture to Salah and he showed me to pray in. I'll show you the direction. Muslims pray in the direction of Mecca, the holiest city in the Middle East, which is in Saudi Arabia, where the Kaaba is. So let's go. Yeah, the enlightened one is teaching us the direction to Kaaba, but she doesn't know it. She doesn't know how to face Mecca, but she's teaching us about the Kaaba and like where's Mecca. And so, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I, I can't believe what I just saw. I got, uh, I could have lived a million lives. I, I never would have thought in my entire life. This is Chantal Soro. This is last year's crackhead Olympian gold medalist. Fupa ball queen. Uh, CPAP rescue. B&E dress. Fucking false police reporting high out of her fucking skull and here we are six weeks later not even okay okay <laughs> yeah how come she didn't pixelate her ass this time weird la 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 lee thank you for the super chat girl she watched a youtube video you're probably right <laughs> So I am still learning a lot about Islam and one of the things I really need to learn how to do is to properly perform the prayer five times a day. So I did find something that helped teach me how to pray and here is a step by step of what you're supposed to do to perform the prayer uh, properly. Oh, Cosmic Glow Up. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. And uh, it feels really funny to say this over the praying woman, but happy Hanukkah to everybody who's celebrating. I did do some of the steps properly, but some of them I didn't do quite right. So I'd rather put myself on camera when I have it down pat to show you properly how I perform prayer. Thank you. Why did she just pixelate her whole body? She forgot to pixelate before. Oh, she fucked up. She fucked up. Because before she forgot to. Oh, weird. Uh, yeah, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey. Grandma Spud, are you allowed to film in a mosque? I'm sure she got permission to do this. It's impossible that she didn't. If she got permission, yes. Oh, Akbar I'm not a traditional Muslim, and I. Did you really feel the need to point that out to us? We'll have a lot to learn, but I do respect all cultures, all religions, and most importantly, I praise God and thank God every day for the life I have, and this has been a very peaceful, wonderful place to do it. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next video. Okay, it's over. I'm keeping the commentary to an absolute minimum on that one. Um, again, if this was genuine and she was really doing this with genuineness behind it, I would be all for this. There's a lot of positive that she could take from, well, any religion really, but Islam, like this is where she's going. There's a lot of positive cleanliness uh the, the brotherhood and like sisterhood aspect the the community of it you know what i mean there's a lot of good the 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 um charity i have i would have absolutely nothing to say there's a reason a lot of people go to religion in their lives when they're you know what i mean when they're going through shit and stuff it can often yeah it helps people get on a track stay on a good track so but this is clearly not being done with anything genuine. I have no respect for this. This makes me feel uncomfortable. This makes me feel like when the rages start about him, all of this is going to be so fucking sacrilegious.
because we're going to completely understand. I mean, we sort of already understand what's going on here. But when she's going to fess up to like, and he did this and he did, 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 did and she starts her bullshit. We're going to understand just how performative this is. This whole fucking thing. If she was genuine and she had gone to a mosque for the first time in her life to pray, there's no fucking way that that would have been on camera. That is ridiculous that it was on camera, in my opinion. Is nothing sacred to you, private to you, Chantal? It's so nuts. Is this all somehow to help you down the road with that eventual uh, interview you're going to have with the Canadian government? Who the fuck knows? I don't really know. Shame on her. I totally agree. This is just so fucking whack. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I didn't like it. And it has nothing at all to do with the fact that it's it's religion or uh, anything. I don't like how insincere this shit is. I've said this for years. It's not just on this channel. I, I've had this mentality a long time. There's somebody I used to know years and years ago. And <laughs> wow. Uh, on the one hand, they, they pretended to be a practicing Muslim. And on the other hand, they actively did cocaine all day long, uh, and all kinds of other shit. It was so just hypocritical. The person prayed and then went straight into my bathroom. It was just so fucking ridiculous. And the, the way the guy would be high and be preaching in the, my living room and going on and on about religion. And it was just so goddamn performative. Same fucking thing as this feel. I'm getting the same feeling from this that I got from that guy, you know? And I remember when, when that guy had left and gone home or whatever, and I was left there with my boyfriend who had been the friend of this guy, I remember going on a fucking tirade to him. Like, it really pisses me off when people use uh, religion to manipulate people. And... It, it, since then, you know what I mean? I, I can't stand when people do that. Do you have no other way to manipulate? For fuck's sake, is nothing sacred to you? And I say that as a uh, non-religious person, you know? But if you're going to LARP as one, at least pretend like it's important to you. That's all. It's ridiculous. Graveyard flowers. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, girl. I appreciate it. Okay, well, those are all the videos you've done. There's a live stream still. Do we have any mojo left? Are we going into the stream? It's called, hey, we'll speed her ass up. It's an hour and a half. We don't have to watch. We'll watch till we're fucking bored and we'll dip. All right, let me get the tab. I'm just going to sleep and wait for people to come in. <laughs> wow, we're really, we're starting the stream with some quality content. She's going to close her eyes and pretend to sleep till people come in. Girl, I got news for you. You're going to be sleeping a long time. People don't come in like that anymore. Bloop. Oh, is that right? Buttered crumpet. Interesting tea. Her thumbnail, her in the thumbnail, her ass isn't pixelated. She went for that clickbait. Mm, a little bit of the booty in the, <laughs> you're right. The money maker in the fucking uh, thumbnail. Mm. Hey, A plus. Girl sip. You like my dainty voice, don't you? Aisha. Lulu, Kbella, AMC, Gemini. Good evening, sister. Thank you so much for the super chat, Jennifer Lynn, and Merry Christmas to you too, girl. I'm trying to sleep, I think, or maybe I won't be able to. Yeah, oh, and Reginald, dream, Pamela. <laughs> yeah, I'm up at an I'm a godly hour. No, it is a godly hour. Okay, uh, we're going to go 1.5 speed today because she's on 1.25 and she's still, oh no, normal speed, how dare I? I take it back. 
<laughs> um, hey, Jade, what's up? The sun. Actually, if you guys can see, I have, why did I go live with half my eyeliner on all the time? What's going on? It's weird, eh? The half eyeliner. It's almost like edible bees without the edible. Weird. But she's been up all night. This was what? Oh, God, I forget what time, Arca. Whatever. It was like six something in the morning or some shit in Kuwait. And she's fucking live. And she's been up all night. Anyway, I've never seen that part of the wall before. <laughs> I never noticed. But anyways. Um, what was I going to say? Hi, welcome. I don't even know. Like, it's 6.30 a.m. here. Hey, Pammy Chick. And it is... I'm very tired. Um, yeah, I've been so busy all day. And then, like, I don't know, for you guys, 6.30 a.m. there, yeah. Nostalgic cap eyeliner. Um, so that I would just go live for a bit and chat before I go to bed. Unless I fall asleep on live stream. I don't know, but yeah. Um, sorry. Is that what you think's going on too? <laughs> it's interesting. Who knows? Who knows? Has she cried her eyeliner off? No, I think she's just fed up of not getting boned and she doesn't have to play like femme fatale anymore. So she doesn't bother washing her face again. She's back to like, Chantal, Chantal. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I just like, I had to get ready really quick. It's such a change for me because I'm not used to getting ready for live streams. <laughs> I just like, used to just go no matter what. Now I have to dress up. Well, it's probably a good thing. It's definitely for you guys. Oh, hey, Jake. Long time no see. Am I going home for Christmas? No. This year... Um, I'm going to be, I'm still going to be here. So honestly, damn it. Well, there goes my hopes. I was really hoping she would fucking get the hell out of there. <sighs> Please go home, ma'am. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to going back and I'm not looking forward to going back, um, for the snow. Oh, I miss my family and like, you know, obviously I miss my cats. What do you care about the snow? You never go outdoors. The snow doesn't affect you in your bedroom. Come on. Come home. I'm arguing. So she'll come back. I woke up at like 4 p.m. though. Because I was up all night. I was editing. Like those vlogs are hard to edit. <laughs> they take a long time. Um Smarty no Hershey. It's not funny. Time ones where they have like these like elaborate montages. I don't think that they have any, but they have a team of people work helping them. They must. I don't know how somebody could do all that editing by themselves. So anyway, oh my gosh. But like, that was, it was fun doing it because the museum was something I wanted to do since coming here. I heard about it and like, um, war and things like that kind of interest me. So. Since when? She's so full of shit. War interests me. Girl, shh, shh, shh. Tell us about a war that happened in Canada. Huh? Tell us about your own fucking country. Huh? Bet you can't. Bet you can't. Bet you can't tell a shit except for what Salad told you. Hmm? War interests me. Nashies interest you and uh, Green Drippy Peen interests you. That's about it. Um, AMC, I'm going to be going home at the end of January. And then I don't know what I'm going to be. I want to come back, so probably in March, but we'll see, inshallah. Missy, hey. I have whoa, 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 whoa. She's coming back to Canada in January, and then she's going to go back to Kuwait in March? I, I can't do this again. Y'all, we're suffering through this once. Are we really going to do this twice? Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to just, 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 I'm not telling y'all what to get into, but I highly recommend anybody who missed our earlier stream today better get on that fucking Doherty dozen train. And I mean, quick, quick, because it seems like we're going to be doing a hell of a lot more Doherty dozen and a hell of a lot less, uh, Chantal come March because I, I can't do this again. Mm -mm. 
we will dip in. We'll do like a few days a week of like, let's catch up on all we miss. I'm not doing this daily again. No fucking way in hell. This has been the worst ever. And I know I'm not going to be the only one. Listen, Chantal's about to tank her channel. She's so lucky. She said still has the reaction channels right now. Go back to Kuwait in March. Watch what fucking happens, girl. I have to watch your vlog. They make me happy. I want to watch it with Sala, the Christmassy ones. <laughs> yes, edit steak. Do you edit Pammy Jack? Oh my gosh. No, it took me a long time because like we had to split it in two parts because so the part we're going to upload tomorrow is like all in the house, but we got a lot of good stuff and it was so interesting. Like it was so surreal to me that they were just like um, the whole martyr thing, like is a really new concept to me and it was like really interesting to just see the museum and oh my god that's so funny sarah did yabba really say the same thing that is so funny i'm glad okay so listen the collective thought <laughs> once <laughs> if i think something and yabba thinks something i'm sorry in my mind that's the collective thought okay once you're more than one person thinking the same damn thing collective we can't do this again chantal You've been warned. You think you don't need us. You fucking need us. You'll find out. Oh my God. Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. In January, Nads will nail her for spot. Thank you for reminding me of that. Sidebar for a minute. Uh, so Koki lost his shit the other night on a live stream. <laughs> uh, we're not going to watch it, but I'll tell you the tea. He was saying that he is going to subpoena Chantal, well, he's not going to, but like he's going to get his side to subpoena her to testify in his little thing. I don't know if that was true. I don't know if that's him bluffing, if that's just him having a way to like use her name still in his videos. It very much could be, but I'm telling you, I'm going to do everything to get into those fucking virtual courtrooms. Like, like everything. Listen, if this bitch is going to show up in court, Oh my God. Oh my God. I will do anything to get into those virtual courtrooms and bring the tea. Okay. I don't know if it's true though. It's Koki. He loves like clickbait and bullshit. He needs views too. His, his shit is dying. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, like actual like bullets and stuff like that. Like you should wait till you see inside the house, but um, it'll be hard getting away from hubby. We're gonna have to go back to video chatting all day and night. We used to have like a routine, like have dinner together, everything, you know? So yeah, it'll be. You used to have dinner with this guy on video chat? Well, that's funny because you were also eating two to three dinners a day with us. How many fucking dinners were you having? Or is this a lie? It'll be like that for a while, but I think um, for my, for our channel, we're gonna like pre-vlog and then I might come back for Ramadan. I will see, inshallah. So oh who's my God. Okay, so. Okay, I actually, I want to see her, I'm going to say suffer through Ramadan. Um, but she, I bet you she won't vlog. She'll do videos, not vlog. What do we say? Like a live stream? She'll do videos instead. So we don't see, she, oh my God. The way she melted down at me the other day. Oh, if she can't eat. And she has no vices and he's sleeping all day. Cause, cause that's kind of what tends to happen in Ramadan. People kind of sleep off the hours, you know, she's going to be so goddamn miserable. It'll be pretty easy to push her over the edge. <laughs> I'll line up all kind of retro reacts for that time. We'll call it retro dam. <laughs> retro reacting our way through Ramadan. Marad. <laughs> I okay so I'm not surprised that people are invasive because that's just how people are I think people are like maybe curious I don't know or I think that they're going to trigger something in me that they're being invasive but um I think I'm just used to it so I think Mariah commented on one of our videos I think people found him out that way or it mean, probably wasn't hard but um he's just Salah's best one of his best friends like I just really don't know what the big deal is like people are making such a big deal and speculating and like oh his friend his friend he has friends. <laughs> there's nothing more to it. There's no drama. There's no conspiracies. So I, I just, I'm asking you guys like. Uh, really? Because that was really vague for something that doesn't have any drama or conspiracies. I don't know. 
I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> what's the so what here? Like we want to know what's what's the big deal with him? Oh, there you go. There you go. She's getting that weird defensive thing going on. And when Chantal gets weird defensive, it's usually because you've cornered her in something. So now, okay, there's something to this guy. I swear, until this moment, I was like, yeah, maybe there's actually nothing to it. What, 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 what do you want? What do you know? What do you want to know? <laughs> she just gave the whole fucking thing away. There's something sus with this guy. Finding out about his friend. And yeah, we took him with us, um, him and his son, Ziad. We went to the museum together and, you know, <laughs> I don't think we ever imagined, I don't know. Did you fix Oh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. That makes it a little more weird even. Because she just said that she took that guy and the son to the museum. Great. But wasn't the first video that the guy was kind of caught in and stuff? The one at the camping with the uh, buggies? Excuse me, ma'am. So did you just tell us, like, does this guy always come everywhere you go this guy follows with? Weird. Weird. The hijab. Yes. More drama with the hijab. I, I knew people were going to react to that, too. Salah, I'm um, telling me to fix my hijab. So um all i can say i think he answered that but in the western world male jealousy is seen as a toxic trait here it's normal so um women wear hijab for allah but also it's a cultural thing where in a, in a more male dominated society um you know Saul will just come right out and admit he's a jealous guy and he doesn't want any um hair slipping out or whatever and sometimes I don't really notice. Hair slipping out as if it's like tendrils that are just going to come falling out of her T-jab. Oh, it's just so much hair. I can't contain it in the T-jab. She's got fucking like baby bird, like, like stubble at best. And I know, I know I have this whole, I mean, you could easily find me and my hair online, but the principle is going forward, right? So even though I'm sure you guys would love to see my hair. <laughs> hey rocket hey lusty tire fire yeah i probably will come back for ramadan her children's writers you're oh you're a children's author that's so cool what do you do you like teach them lessons and things hey crisscross the niqab i explained that um i'm just not sure i'm very impulsive and i just kind of like dive into things without really ex like exploring the meaning and not just the meaning because i did you know but I, I, I guess I also was just like thought it was for more of a religious thing, but it's more of a culture. Like it's not a necessity. How could you think it was a religious thing if you just said that you researched about it? You clearly did no research or you would have known what it's about. You're a moron. You saw one on the street. You probably went, I want to try that. Or Sally told you cover your face. It's not cute. It's not so sweet. And Sally said it's not, you know, it doesn't require me to wear it as well. But there are a lot of women who wear them here, so I don't know. Reginald, um, it's just really just not the same for, you know, Syrians just to be able to just go to Canada. That's why. Hi, Lolo. Y'all are so nosy. No YouTuber sleaze. Okay, not that much. Hmm? Who's that? Gossip? I don't know who that is. Sally got basically upset when his name was mentioned. Oh, and last, I think he wasn't upset. I think he was just like surprised, maybe. Nah, in my opinion, Salad looked really pissed off when that super chat the other day said that the name Murad, right? Salad saw it. He visibly changed. There was a visible reaction, and then they muted and they were whispering, and the vibe was different. We said it while we were like, the vibe was different from that moment on in the stream. And then he did like cover your like your fix your hijab thing and stuff. He got pissed off in that moment. He's really new to this kind of, you know, like he did YouTube for a while, but like he didn't doesn't understand. Oh, he did YouTube for a while. He literally played video games on his cell phone for YouTube. Wow. And one-handed keyboard. Wow. 
extent of my haters. You know, it's a lot to deal with. Uh, the people who are sending him pics from your OnlyFans are so disrespectful. As a Muslim man, nudity of other women is not something they look at until they sub. <laughs> yeah. Look, um, I'm not dumb. He's not dumb. He's with, you know, somebody from Canada who's been very open. And yeah, I said, it's a possibility. Obviously that's gonna happen. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> if there's any way people will try to ruin anything in my life, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. So we have to just, you know. Oh, it can't be ruined. He knows all about it. Slash, you can still make him papers, right? I bet anything she wants to fess up, it's like, Salad, I need to tell you something. And she's all nervous and he goes, Listen, listen, can you still make me papers? And she goes, yeah. And he goes, phew, okay, tell me what you want to tell me. <laughs> That's all he cares about. Come on. Finny, thank you for the super chat. Mm, interesting. Well, roll with the punches, whatever, when it comes to that stuff. Um, you know, I have to try to just, like, focus on things I can control. And honestly, like, I'm just too busy to really be bothered, like, to the extent that, you know, I don't know. I don't really care. I mean, there's nothing really, you know, I, I guess if you could say that he looked visibly upset, well, maybe he, I mean, you know, it's invasive if you think about it, you know, but I mean. Oh, it's invasive. Too bad. Too fucking bad. This guy wants to be on the internet now. The Murad guy has his fucking channel on the internet now. It's invasive. You fucking then get jobs. Shit. Unclaimed Juju. Thank you for the super chat. What the fuck is she saying? It's the easiest way to enter Canada as Syrian. Mm. You know who? You know what though? It's not easy for him. Do you remember when we we've mentioned it on the channel a few times? When the, the like wave of Syrians came to Canada, there was like like thousands like uh, that Justin Trudeau like quickly allowed to come here. There was an exception. Like who was not who could not qualify to come. It was single men under a certain age, young single men, because they were afraid of, you know, certain like bad guys coming into the country, put it that way. And because it was all being done so quick, this was the easiest way to get it done without too much of a like liability to this country. Salad wouldn't have qualified. He's too young and he's single. So plus like he was already in Kuwait. I don't know if he would have qualified anyway. You know what I mean? Not so easy for this guy to make moves. I don't know. I think Murad did comment on a video, so maybe that's why, but it is what it is. I don't really care, honestly. <clears throat> Can't wait to see the kitties. Lou Hunter, <laughs> thank you so much for the super sticker. So it was part of being a Sala wearing the hijab. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, yes, I'm married to somebody who um, would like me to. So most men would here in this culture want their women to wear a niqab. I mean, hijab, it's very rare that you see women without it here. It does happen, but um, mostly like maids and things like that. There's like, everyone has a maid here, so. What? <laughs> Foreign domestic worker. I think I think that's the, the, the term that you were going for. Foreign workers in Kuwait. There are more expats in Kuwait than actual Kuwaitis. I think that's what she meant to say there and not the servants. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, what the shit? Just, just, I don't know what to say with this one. I swear to God. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. Her nose looks swollen. It does it really, or is the filter just kind of failing on one side? Filter often doesn't know what to do with her face when she's wearing that fucking face spanx. Let's press play and see how it like moves with her, you know? We don't. Uh, <laughs> we don't have like a family yet, so. But like fam families and things have usually have maids. Um, I don't really see them with hijab, but yeah, women typically wear hijab. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I she said mind. maid, not servant. Like potato, potato. The you mean foreign worker? Uh, I answer. It's one of the components. It's one of the reasons. One of them, yes. I don't think Undersella understands your reach on YouTube, Lolo. I don't think so. 
it's so different here. If anybody talks crap about anybody online here, you will, you'll, you'll go to prison. Like if, if let's say FFG was here, she would be in prison right now for sure. Absolutely. Well, 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 if FFG was in Kuwait, she would be in prison. Well, you know what? <laughs> God bless the Western world then. <laughs> I'm fucking in Canada talking about mad shit in Montreal and nobody can imprison me. <laughs> and with that logic, big mouth, shouldn't you be locked up for all the shit you've been spewing for the past few days? The answer is absolutely yes. So watch your mouth. <laughs> Just saying. They, they don't they don't let you um like go after people and call them names online or um harass people it just doesn't happen Bob Air was causing trouble with that saying some to sell about it again and again in arabic it was driving me crazy and your hair wasn't showing oh so flop era okay no i didn't think my hair was showing but <laughs> it's antagonizing i don't think people realize how serious some cultural customs are here you know you can't expect me to be here and not immerse myself in the culture and be respectful and, you know, but, uh, yeah, my hair wasn't showing very much, but it was starting to slip, I think, but he wasn't saying it. He didn't understand. He's like, I wasn't shouting at you. I wasn't, it's just how he is, you know? Um, so. Yeah, he's robotic. The robot has no emotions and the robot forgot to turn on the empathy button on that day. Fix it, he's up. It was just so cold, but of course it's cold. There's no warmth between them, you know? Totally normal. <laughs> you should not be ashamed from your past. Without your past, you would probably not have met Sela. The thing is, is I'm not ashamed. Like, people will always comment that. I always see that. Um, oh, you can't erase your past. You can't erase the internet. No, we're both very aware of that. Um, his friends... Actually, la 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 Lee, I would argue that Danny DeVito has a lot more hair, a lot thicker, like hair going on on the sides and, you know, like, <laughs> just not the top. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I think that's an insult to Danny DeVito. He's aware of that. He knows my past. I mean, Estelle is not dumb either. He's explained all that. Um, I don't know. I'm from a different culture I'm from a different world why would he condemn me for that it's not something that's my fault my actions well a lot of people have an only fans in Canada it's so normal you know it's like nothing women legally are allowed to walk around topless in Canada it's like <laughs> okay okay I was getting messaged about this last night but just saying uh yeah I, apparently you can just walk around topless in Canada I don't know I've never seen topless women in Canada to be fair but um, yeah, apparently that happened once. Someone got arrested. They made a whole stink about it. And yeah, you can, in some places, <laughs> be a topless woman in Canada. Uh... <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I just don't know what to say. I'm just, we're moving on. Unclaimed Juju, thank you for the super chat. You're right, FFG, but then why not try LGBT? He does have tendencies maybe nannies i do except animals are kept outside so you'll never know with your broke ass i'm gonna have to read that one like 16 times we'll just press play while i decide for that one hold on you know it's it's, it's day and night it's, it's completely different oh nice missy do Western women wear hijab? I have not seen a Western woman lusty tire fire that I know of, honestly. I haven't. If I do, maybe they would be from Europe, but or from like England. And then I literally cannot ex it is that it? Chilean gypsy? Okay, that makes sense. Cause I'm like, I've just read this like a fucking mad gabs, like <laughs> 10 times real quick. It makes no sense to me, but you know what makes sense? That every single time fucking Chilean Gypsy would come into this chat and start with her weird shit, I could never decipher that shit either. So, hello, Chilean Gypsy. And be me, it's no stuff. <laughs> no, mm -mm, I don't think so. 
not come be your mate, but the men do do the men don't get off scot free, don't worry about it. They just have different roles. You know, the men really take care of their family, their wives, they have to. You know, it's it's in a way, um, honor it would be like a dishonor. Capricorn NJ, thank you so much for the super chat. It's just how he is. That is exactly what she said about Koki. Oh my god, you're totally right. Uh-huh. It'll only be a problem when he doesn't want anything to do with her anymore. I'm really enjoying my time. I'll come to your maid. Aisha, yes. No, you're going to be second wife, remember? <laughs> I get it. It's just when you were still in Ontario, you said it was for you. Listen, I've been with someone for 10 years. I'm compromising. Yeah. Well, Lex, it is for me too. Like, even Sala was like, you have, it has to be for you too as well. Like, you have to feel it. You don't just wear it for no reason. So, <clears throat> yeah, I, right. that was just one of the reasons. Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind explaining. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Chilean Gypsy, you've given yourself away now, okay? Chilean Gypsy slash unclaimed juju. Thank you again for the super chat. Where I tried topless at the beach in the six. The six is Toronto for anyone not from Canada. All right, Chilean Gypsy, you just keep going topless at the beach in the six. No. Um, but yeah, you take care of each other without even noticing. Yeah, yeah, it's true. When you really care and love for somebody, yeah, you do. The second wife, I forgot. <laughs> you know how bad Chantal's content has become when Chilean Gypsy's appearance and gibberish in the chat is the most interesting and entertaining part of it so far? You used to come in here in the middle of Crackhead Olympics. I would get so fucking mad trying to decipher your shit because I'm trying to focus on the like literal crackhead back and forth going on and I would be so fed up of you. And now, tabarnak, how things have flipped around this year, eh? Flirty, no Hershey. Thank you for the super chat. Ooh. Are you really? Girl, where are you going? The six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. So, um, so yeah, there's not really any more drama to really talk about with that, I guess. I don't know. I think he was just taken off guard with the, the comment because it was like, oh, no, they found out who he was, you know? And I thought, yeah, that's probably going to happen. I don't know. I just had a feeling. <laughs> but, oh, well. I mean, there's nothing really to find out. He's just like... Nova, FFG, what does tabarnak mean? Tabarnak replace, replaces the F word a lot in French. It's what you say. It's a cuss. It's actually the tabernacle in a church, but that's like what it replaces here. Hmm? Like a normal person with a family. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to say about that, I guess. I'm so tired. Um, I'm on like a night schedule now, but I thought, I don't know. Um, I'm so tired. Can you go zip lining soon? Oh, yes, bitch. And I don't want to do it. Like, I have to watch the weight restrictions. I always forget how big I am. I already broke a couch. <laughs> no, seriously. That's why we have all this. Oh, so she's not going zip lining. I mean, we knew that she wasn't going to go zip lining, but she's been, you know, <laughs> not holding that over our heads, but God damn it, man. Just do something. Take us somewhere. Couches. <laughs> uh, but um if I can if I can zip line I will. If I can do something I will, yeah. I don't think the weight restriction would hold me. I have to lose weight first. I want to join a gym j January 1st. I know, I know. January 1st, we all do resolutions. I think it's because I have OCD, honestly, and I cannot start something on like a certain day. Like the first just seems like a clean new start. Plus it gives me like 20 10 more days to like eat what I want. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm fully like tonight. Okay, what did I eat, Vance Beezer? Oh, hey, Vance Beezer. Oh, gee, remember for nine months, loyalty Beezer. Hang in there. Don't get down on yourself when you get upset or mad. You are a human with feelings, and people just need to stop. Say, show. Oh, thanks, G. Are you set? Weebies. <laughs> yeah. I think I. This is December content. I swear to God, we got to go back to cracking the limits. I'm accidentally on purpose skipping forward. Editing it. I'm learning about Islam, right? So I went for my first time to a mosque, like the women's side of the mosque. But 
Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have that video coming up soon. Today Why is she today. so pasty? That's fucking weird. Pasty, no edibles. It's weird. Get a drink, damn it. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> Unclaimed juju slash curly Juarez. <laughs> Come on, Chilean Gypsy and Curly Juarez, the sisters that are actually the same person. Is it a split personality thing? Come on, man. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying this, but thanks for being here, Curly Juarez. You're really livening up this fucking stream. <laughs> sort of. In the this is like a dream and a nightmare all in one. The washing station, the voodoo station, but I'm not actually, you know, I can't show you my skin, so you don't actually see much of that, but you see, you, you guys will see enough. It'll be an interesting video because I learned a lot doing that video. I learned a lot about the different facilities of the mosque and everything like that. So it's very interesting. And it's so interesting because like whenever I was like out front of the mosque and filming, there was like a rainbow across my face. And then whenever I finished praying, I don't care what culture you're from, what you wear, um, what you believe, what God you believe in, praying in itself is so real. It's just, it's such an, a nice act. It's such a... Again, with the, I don't care what God you believe in. Ugh, it's the same God, you fucking idiot. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. Who needs anesthesia for surgery? Just play this in an OR, right? Oh, my God. Curly Juarez, you got anything else to say? Like anything at this point. Can you just shoot us some gibberish and I'll keep putting it up on the screen. We'll play Mad Gabs with your gibberish tonight. Come on. You know what I mean? It's so peaceful. And when I left the mosque, like the sun and all the bird, like the bird, like a whole bunch of birds flew away. And it was just so nice. <laughs> it was like a moment. <laughs> I don't think people realize you're in the Middle East. The customs are so different. Different doesn't mean it's bad. No, I mean, it's, yeah, it's different. Um, it's not bad for, you know, a lot of, a lot of people. I swear, you know what? I'm not even pressing pause. Why am I pressing pause? Just shut up. <laughs> Hot wasabi. You were a beezer. Curly Juarez slash Chilean Zip Gypsy was a beezer. Uh, were beezers. Do you think that they were one and the same or two different people? Not after what happened to Brittany Griner. Oh, gosh. And what they did to Ukraine. No way. I never thought you would actually go to Kuwait. It takes guts. <clears throat> it's so weird because I'm afraid to go in an elevator, but I don't mind traveling across the world. It's really strange. Like, you've seen me, like, there was, like... You know what the... I think would have taken more guts than running to the other side of the world to run away from your problems? Would have been to stay and face them head on and fix them for once in your life. Flirty, no Hershey. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Poor <laughs> bad. I'm heading to sleep and going shopping with my mom tomorrow. Ooh, have a good time, Missy. And <laughs> I'm going to be watching. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. Like, what time is it over there? It must be late. Yeah. It must be super late. Thanks, Lolo. I'm glad you enjoyed Team Kuwait. Are you ever going to share the wedding with us? Um, maybe, T Lex, when the time is right. I don't know yet. Okay. Unclaimed Juju slash Chilean Zips Gypsy slash Curly Juarez. Thank you again for the super chat. We've been on video chat with other Chans. Sorry, times two. Okay, but have you both been on video chat at the same time? Have you two ever been at the same place at the same time? Or is it like one of you only? Ah, oh, Curly's going to be on this chat and tomorrow it's going to be Chilean Gypsy. And maybe the next day it'll be Unclaimed Juju. Have you ever been in the same place at the same time? Doubt it. We promised each other to keep it private. Is Salah learning to edit? Steph, actually, before he met me, he was doing YouTube. He has his household time Salah channel. Um, and he has Wondershare, Filmora Wondershare, which I don't even know how to use. Oh, but yeah, actually... Lori, thank you for the super chat. Murad did confirm that Salad and Chantal are married. But if he's really best friend of Salad, wouldn't he just be perpetuating his little besties lie if there was one? I'm just saying. I'm not saying they're not. But come on. It's not, he's not at all. <laughs> I, I get away with a lot, but um, 
I, I, I like to have, do, like, I don't, I don't know. It would be, I think it would be more stressful, like, editing every single thing together, you know? Hey, but so, does he, but does he so freshly spoiled, cum filled sewage drip? Thank you for the super chat, right? Oh my God, she's making the fucking, <laughs> the videos we watched at the beginning of this stream seem like interesting. Should we do one of those accidental on purpose trip aheads? I don't feel stressed. Good night, Missy. Did you go to Kuwait for 24 seven Arabic cuisine? Oh, I'm not even gonna hide the fact that the food, I can't. I really like food a lot, like a lot, you guys know, so. Luna, I'm so sorry I didn't miss it. Thank you for the super chat. Like, I think like at least 20 falafels. I always ask for extra pickles. Does his family struggle with the fact that you were an influencer? Um, no, well, no. No, I think at first, maybe for some, it was like kind of, you know, different, but um, they know that Salah is more open-minded. Uh, he wouldn't have been living by himself for like two years if he wasn't, you know, taking care of himself and. Weird. Why is Salad living alone for two years? If he's really from like a traditional Arab family. You don't really move out till you like get married. It's kind of. <clears throat> How old is Omar? I wonder. Just just asking questions. Just, just <laughs> curious. Katie, thank you for the super chat. Girl, <laughs> never. I swear to God, I'd be homeless before I would ever. Oh boy. <laughs> Curly Juarez, Chilean Gypsy, thank you for the super chat. Have you ever hated someone for your own reasons? Why hate? Wow. I actually understood that one for the first time ever. That was like fortune cookie-esque. Have I ever hated someone for my own reasons? Yes. And why hate? Because I'm a vengeful, spiteful motherfucking Scorpio. That's why. That's why I hate. So, um, I really didn't expect to fall in love. Like, when he messaged me, I just, I saw his picture and I was like, holy, he is like, ah, oh, everything about him, so attractive. His dark hair, the beard, everything about him. He's oh, so tall. <laughs> I'm skipping ahead, I don't care. Anyone wants to watch this crap in its entirety, you know where to find it. In the dumpster fire she calls a channel. Use our couple channel to do actual content. <laughs> and then Foodie Beauty or Chantal of FY. I don't know, I'm already thinking, should I go back to Foodie Beauty? Cause it's like my name and like, people are just going to call me that anyway. But at the same time, like, I feel like doing things that are more about me. So my name is Chantal, right? I don't know. If I do become Muslim, I can get a Muslim name. Like, uh, <laughs> I, hate, I hate this. I'm on vacation and I'm about to say, this is too much for a Monday. Holy shit, man. No one cares about your fucking Muslim name. Okay, Chantal, this is so stupid. And look at the, this stream is from earlier today, explaining to us why she changed her name on uh, YouTube to Chantal. And before we started the stream, it had already been changed back to Foodie Beauty. She's so bad at sticking to anything. It's so stupid. And look at the dumb shit that she actually sticks to. Ah, oh boy. Chilean Gypsy, thank you again for Super Chat. We haven't done nothing to you. Don't judge the clicks. <laughs> oh my God. I have nothing against you per se, either one of you or one of you. <laughs> last year, it's like I explained last year, we would be in the heat of the moment, crack at Olympics, trying to do it. And your messages are like mad gabs. So it would take me out of the moment. And I have a shit memory from all the weed. So when you take me out of the moment, I can't get back to what I was saying ever. It's lost forever. So it was frustration last year. It was the height of crackhead Olympics. We are in the height of nothing now. More than welcome, girl. Marhaba. Fatima, or I don't know. <laughs> Who's a photo fox? Oh, movie gal. Yeah, isn't he handsome? <laughs> Reginald. I love how you put a star in the name. 
Yeah. Well, I mean. Oh my God, Katie, that's really funny. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, girl. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Whoops. My, fi my finger just flipped there. I didn't mean to skip ahead, but we're skipping ahead. That's Idaho, exactly. I feel that way too. Like, I love doing things. Um, like making his shoe shot. I like making him happy. Or, you know, things like that, making him happy with I'm stuff. Like he does that for me too. Like he goes out of his way to make sure I'm happy in different ways, you know? So, um, but yeah, you have to, you know, if you have a family, you have to take care of it. And I like to stay busy now. I, I, it helps my mental health, like just laying around in the same spot, like going out like pretty much every day or at least five days a week, I'd say we go out. She likes to stay so busy all day that she's in uh, attic dweller multiple losers chats all day, commenting, being a hateful bitch. Just you know, Chantal being Chantal, doing Chantal things. That's keeping busy all day. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making the content with your lover boy, who, by the way, was supposed to go back to work at the beginning of December, wasn't he? Hmm. On December nineteenth, we're wondering what happened to the job. Um, trying to go out on Fridays in Juma. It's so busy, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's like it makes your mental health so much more stable. Ah! Hey, day, I promise I will. That's fucking hilarious. Hey, day today. Hey, Frenchie, question If Foodie does Ramadan, can you make all her thumbnails, all her favorite Canadian foods? Yes. And we'll do we'll do a series during Ramadan where I will go and eat all and not eat, but like here, I'm gonna film the orange julep. Here, I'm gonna film a Burger King. Here I'm gonna film, I don't know, all her faves. We'll come we'll come up with the, oh, the best five poutines in Montreal and stuff. Such a really driver nuts. Miserable and eat myself and just do drugs and things, you know. Oh, wait a minute. Ramadan's going to call fall during what we call here in Quebec, le temps de sucre, which is like maple time, the maple like harvest time. <sighs> cabana sucre. We're going to go to a cabana sucre and we're going to film it or stream it. I don't even know. We'll figure it out. Oh, I know how much she loves cabana sucre. Everybody here loves fucking cabana sucre. It'll drive her nuts. Don't miss that life, guys. It made me feel bad. You know, maybe that wasn't me. Maybe you guys are all like, you've changed, you've changed. But maybe I'm just back to my normal self when I'm not high all the time or miserable or trying to convince myself that like I want to be a mess. Oh my God, and, Kathleen, thank you for the super chat, girl. That's funny. You know, so I can't craft singles. Oh my God, the craft singles here are gourmet. Gourmet. All right. Are you talking to me about craft singles from Kuwait? I swear to God, that's it. Skipping ahead. But I haven't like, like tree lady. <laughs> I'm too tired to do tree lady right now. It was fun. Yeah. I have to be more reserved now. I, I know what you mean. But don't worry, it might just be for now. Chantal, do you think it should take three hours to cook spaghetti? It should take like at most an hour, unless you're slow simmering all day. I was going to say, because you've never made spaghetti, you open jars. It's not the same. Mm -hmm. Bobby Page, thank you for the super chat. I'm a Virgo and I'm vengeful. And he's not handsome. He looks like Ernie from Sesame Street. Oh my God, that's actually really funny. He does. I see that too. Interesting. Um, I found salad much more attractive before he ever opened his fucking mouth and started eye fucking himself. I'm repulsed by him in every way. You know, when someone's like just on your nerves, so everything about them pisses you off. I'm at that point with this guy. Why do you ask me this? It depends. There's so many kinds of ways to make spaghetti. Church basement spaghetti is quick and easy. You get a jar of prego, ground fry up that ground beef, that ground round. Ew. Every time I think of ground beef, I think of those kids in the meat grinder from the Pink Floyd video. <laughs> anyway. 
Curly Juarez, yeah. thank you again for the super chat. We appreciate the mess. Not gonna lie. I was gonna say something before I go. Hold on. Let me think. <laughs> I can't think I'm too tired. Like I'm not a character. Go to bed! A real human. Booty Beauty's a real person. Chantal's a real person. I'm I'm being, I know like it's so funny because at the same time, I'm being accused of being disingenuous or whatever, but I'm actually always being just my authentic self. Always. You know, unless there are there are a lot of times I lied to myself though, for sure. Like the past year I've lied to myself so bad. But you know, it's Cindy Lou who that's so random it made me laugh so hard. Like but yeah, I guess it is iconic. <laughs> you're doing it. But I don't know. You know, if you're on the highway near the craft sign, like Cote de Lies, when they're making uh craft dinner. You can smell that fucking cheese all the way on the highway. You have to roll up your windows. It's sickening. You've had such an insane change that most people think it's disingenuous. Even if you think it's totally natural and healthy, it's unusual for most people to see such death. Yeah, exactly, original. It probably weirds people out. Or like Trisha Payne. Leanda, thank you for the super chat. But no, um, I'm just finding my way, like trying, I don't know, I just not trying different things. It's not even that like this is my my life now I'm, I'm married and in love and that's the main focus right now but at the same time i'm with somebody who helps me grow and become a, a healthier person like right now though I, I will admit hard disagree okay i'm barely even listening to her anymore and i happen to tune back in to hear that bullshit. no he's not making you become a help a better person or helping you be one he literally has sat next to you moderating your chat while you have popped off illegally in the country you're in by the way for days now and instead of trying to calm you the fuck down or like unplug the goddamn internet he just encouraged you to keep going that's not a positive influence in your life. You're not in the uh, fucking Orleans anymore. Like you just said, if FFG was here, she could be locked up. Blah, blah, blah. You should be locked up. And this guy didn't even try and stop you. I'm struggling with food badly, wanting to eat, you know, just like, you know, Sala sleeps like a rock. So it's easy for me to just go and make like Indomie or eat like chips or whatever in the living room and watch my I watch like Anna Solves or like True Crime or like Rachel. Hey, Bella. thank you for the super chat. If he gets his papers, he can sponsor his own son. Absolutely. Uh, for a few minutes, for a little bit. You don't even sponsor a kid. You you just like get the kid over here. He just needs his paper. I do struggle with soda, um, snacks, stuff like that. Um, I go through phases with that. Hey, Lori. Welcome to the girl gang. It's not as bad as before. You stop. Yes. Remember for seven months. Oh. Oh, Miss Lulu. Welcome to Very Important Beezers. Ready, set, ease. Hey, Miss Lulu. Thanks for your super chat, by the way. Dream. They don't want you to change because. Hmm. Oops. I skipped ahead again, and now we're right before the end. That's a shame. Okay, guys. A room showing bees. I hope so, Nico. Inshallah. Yeah, we plan on it. I know you have to go, but you look so happy and beautiful. Oh, thanks, Miss Lulu. I appreciate the positivity, guys. I do. Hope you stay that way. No live stream every time. Nico, I've been on for an hour and a half. <laughs> so that's funny. I want to do live stream, live streams, but like I said, the, the lifestyle is very new. Sala doesn't tell me not to stream or anything like that, but it's live streaming is kind of invasive in a way because it's hard to edit out things, you know? So you have to, I don't know, not invasive in like a bad way, but I'm trying to ease in this lifestyle into our life. Hmm. So you pixelated your ass? <laughs> That's you easing into it? Oh yeah. boy. Compl She's complaining about the editing because she had to pixelate her ass. My relationship, there's a lot of, I don't. And, you know, it's from a different culture and everything. So I knew that getting into it. And he, on the other hand, he knew about my past. I mean, it's readily available to anyone. To see and that will never change you guys are right that will never go away i don't expect it to anything i privated was out of you know a symbolic gesture i guess uh, symbolic gesture and notice notice what she just said there anything i've privated she didn't say anything i deleted when this shit is over all said and done with this schmuck 
She's going to put all those videos back up. All those millions and millions of views that she deleted. She didn't delete them. They're just privated videos. Interesting. If she was really all in on this and she really thought that this was real, she would not have privated the videos. She would have deleted them. That was a major, major tell in my opinion right there. How very interesting. I'm so glad she told us that. She didn't delete anything. She privated it. And it's different. It's very different. Delete it. It's gone forever. Private it. At any moment, you can go and make it public again. Interesting. Very fucking interesting. This is a sham. She knows it's a fucking sham too. Hmm. Hot Wasabi, thank you for the super chat. Your display pic is crap on a cracker. <laughs> Hot Wasabi, I love yours. Um, anything from the past year I'd like to private and just forget about, honestly. So that's why I did that. But again, if you really wanted to forget about it, you wouldn't have privated them. You would have deleted them. Do any of the OGBs are still coming chat like Sigma, et cetera? That, no, they don't. <laughs> I think you, you can find them on Pisa's channel. You can do karaoke. Yeah. Please, when you play piano with him, don't focus the piano on his hands, face the camera on you guys. <laughs> okay, Brittany, thanks for the feedback. Let's see what we can do. I think he, you know, likes to show how he plays. A lot of songs are more complicated than play. But maybe we can, we have to figure it out. Maybe I have to get some kind of device. She's not going to do shit for Ramadan. Listen, listen, I'm calling this right now. Uh, right before, she'll pretend like she's going to. And on the first day of Ramadan, she's going to go, guys, I didn't know if you take medication, you can't participate. Because as soon as you, let's say, swallow a medication, it's uh, you've broken the fast. So you haven't done Ramadan. You can just eat after that, right? That's what's going to, she's going to pull that shit on day one. Mark my fucking words. You guys know of any email me, but. Something that can show like from far away. Oh, uh, and another thing. And she's diabetic and diabetics aren't supposed to fast even during Ramadan. She's not going to fast. She's just got to pick one of her multiple excuses to get out of it. Comments and I'm like, I need to see the call. Okay, I got to go to bed. <laughs> All right, oh guys. yeah, Capone Boxer. Listen, listen, I, I totally agree. Hold on. I want to put your comment on the screen. I'm a little behind on the chat. Wait a minute. FFG. I know we don't speak of him here, but Voldemort definitely misses Chantal or at least her wallet. I completely agree with you. As much as we're all like pining for last year's crackhead Olympics and how much fun it was, Koki's pining for the money he made last December. Remember he had his channel and they were going back and forth. We were ping ponging with them constantly day after day after day. He made great AdSense last year. Uh, and she was still buying his affection. Remember that he had already been shacking up with Didi when she bought him the laptop, uh, laptop, the, the, what do you call it, the iPad, when she chauffeured them back and forth, Gatinola, Lachine, when she was going over there, dropping off care packages of weed and booze and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure he does miss that money for sure. Nikki Finn, thank you for the super chat. Oh, she did already say it? Meh. So what the fuck does she want to be there for? Just to annoy him? Great. I miss you guys. We'll see you next time. I'll try to do live streams more, like maybe tomorrow too. Maybe for dinner. Maybe I can cook dinner tomorrow. And then how uh, to live with your girlfriend. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, like we're married, so. But yes, if we weren't married. Nixie, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it would be Helene. Helene. Bye, Brittany. I hope you get some sleep too. Bye, everybody. Oh, what are you talking about, Helene? I don't know if that's a chin. See, I have pimples. At least Stop picking pimples. your face. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yuck. Um, I love you guys. Good night. Okay, okay, okay. She's doing one of those long-winded goodbyes. Let me just make it a quick one. <laughs> That was awful. Just 
a complete waste of time except for one thing. See, I always say that sometimes we have to suffer through shit to get one little nugget out of her. And here was the nugget we got tonight. And in my mind, it's massive. It's maybe the biggest tell that Chantal has given us besides the clear lack of sexual tension between them, that this is not real. Okay. And she knows damn right this will end. Remember forever. Okay. She did not delete all those videos. She privated them. She wants to forget the past, so she privated them. That's very deep. I love that for us. I love that so much. I'm so glad that I hadn't completely stroked out and like my brain hadn't turned to jello and just oozed out of my ears and I was able to even listen to that one. That's right. They're privated, not deleted. They will be back as soon as this guy is out. For sure, for sure. That's her money. That's her That's her legacy on YouTube, as she loves to say, right? Blech. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> did she say deleted them before? I don't know that she addressed them, uh, what she had done with them. To be honest, I'm not sure how she worded it before. But now, six weeks later, she definitely said privated twice. That's the big takeaway from today. And I'm taking it away. I'm remembering that one. Okay. Tonight was a lot of content. We got a lot of nothing. We got a propag two propaganda pieces. We got some bullshit. And then we got this long-winded, full of nothing except for the nugget. We got a nugget. So it's a win. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You guys still made it fun. There's no fucking way. Not only I went to sat through all this shit without you guys, I there's no way I would have even heard that little nugget I would have been so just not paying attention anymore. You guys make this stuff bearable. So thank you so much. I literally wouldn't be here without you guys in any of this, in girl world, anything to do with this bullshit anymore. I'm so bored of this arc. Woo. Again, I'm going to say one more time. I highly recommend anybody who missed the Doherty Dozen stream from earlier today, plus previous Doherty Dozen streams that we've done, uh, may want to check them out. We have a great time. It's the same gang. We rip on someone else. There's a lot to rip on. She's aggravating as all hell, the mother of that family. And um, I don't know how much attention I can give to a second trip to Kuwait. So I have a feeling we're going to be leaning a little harder onto other things. Ugh. Anyway, guys, still a great time. Thank you so, so much for being here tonight. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. Tomorrow, suckers, peasants going to work. <laughs> While your girlfriend, she has her foot, her feet up, having coffees. Think of me on my vacation. <laughs> Y'all be safe tomorrow. Keep your masks on and I'll meet you back here for some more fun and fucking around tomorrow. Bye guys.